I'm curious about this little okay. war Austria is having with whoever they are. They're it's not a little Italy. war. But they're with Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Wait. No, one of the trips by them was the Palatinate. They're fighting the Palatinate. Oh, don't give them Morocco military access. Yeah, that gives us relations. It, Morocco, they're Muslim, right? Yeah, well, they're specifically Sunni. Yeah. It's ironic how they're allies with us. A Christian religion. Well, at this period of time, yeah, that was rare. Look, we Not have impossible. a combination of natives and Calabar, so we got one thing to click. The local native population seems to be more accepting of our presence. This will have great benefits in the long run. Natives in Calabar lose one ferocity. Useless. Ooh. Austria's got claim on Ingolstadt in the Palatinate. Oh, I can repay a lot. Uh-oh. I'm going to repay a loan and there keep an eye on their war. Uh, economy, where are you? There you go. Repay a loan? Yes. Repay this 361. Excellent. Okay. I'm taking Boney out of the trading company. Why? Because I want to convert the religion before it's in the trading company. What do these half flags mean? So they're half one flag and half another. So this one's out too. They're usually colonies. How do we know so one Salzburg is not a colony of Austria? Because it's in the middle of Europe. But half its flag is Austria's. Let's see. Yeah, it's not a colony. But why is half its flag Austria's flag? It's, it's the same culture. They're both Austrian. Culturally. So what, did they break off from Austria a long time ago? I'm not sure. That's what I'm going to go with. They each have the same culture. They probably used to. Oh, Austria's got... No. Look, all these little countries are fighting each other like mad. Oh look, Austria is winning. It looks like they got several of the Palatinate city-states claimed. The one nation I'm really curious about. Merchant bankrupt. They... One of our merchants and brides returned home as a pauper after losing every single de scale. He has gone bankrupt, and we will not receive benefits from his trade anymore. We could get if we do. He could just not make it. Aragon gains absent merchant power minus ten in Champagne. Until the second of October. Save him, we lose ten diplomatic diplomatic power, and we lose ten scales. But where is it located? The trade. And apparently, we'll lose ten power in Champagne. I mean, I'd rather not gain absent merchants because that didn't sound good. Period. It's not very long though. We just don't have much strength there. But I would rather not lose as much the strength we have if we don't have No, nah, just let it go. I'd rather save them. It's only 10 diplomatic power and only 10 scales. It's not that bad. But we're in debt. And guess what? We're making 21 a month, a week, whatever it is. 24 a month. We can easily make that back. Plus, we're re reaping our debts anyway. Whatever, just All right, do it. Save them. You're not gonna give up, so oh well. I mean, there is benefits to doing it. It's just not something I normally do. I mean, to be fair, it's not their fault their stuff was stolen. I say we I should mean, rent out our army to Austria. I mean, we it can easily make the money. We could use the money too. Well, is Austria winning? Yeah, it looks like they are. Look at how much they claim. Okay, but this is one rule. What? If a big army shows up, or are we leaving? The largest Sorry. one it, that appears is the Papal... Oh, 
The Papal State Army is hired out by Austria, and that's the largest one, it looks like. And they're not fighting Bohemia, so we don't have to worry about Bohemia, I don't think. Okay, fine. I'll send 10 troops. 625. That means we've got to fund our army. Yeah, and the amount of money we'll gain will be way more. It's got to be at least five ducats. So, Austria. Try going with 10 first. Try, see if we can get away with 10. Well, I mean, that's got to be the minimum for us to make money back. Five, I know. But. Where's offer con dot tr? There it is. Six two five. That was someone do for twenty a month. Too expensive. Start at twenty. There's default. Ouch. Ouch what? Oh, I see. What is it? They're winning their war, so. Yeah, they don't want to do it. Well, we tried to offer. I guess that's all that yeah. matters is we tried. Oh, well. Well, I'm enjoying watching their little war. Let's see who wins. That's an interesting... Thing. Okay, so I've, I've done Morocco a good amount. I'm going to improve relations with our colonies. How do we Starting. encourage them to increase their uh, land value so it's not all that ugly red? There's nothing you can do, really. There's got to be something to do. Nope. Uh. So are calling you, Alexandria? They're working on converting the culture. Oh, they're converting to ours? Yes. Okay. As well as the religion. And you can't stop that. That's just something they do anyway. Because it is kind of historical. Oh, the Papal State has stopped uh, renting out their regiments. The Armata di Roma, which is a 7, 2, and 6. Which is really good. Marco is now producing sugar. We've discovered an agent. From England. Yeah, none of these are that important. Wow, England's trying to take our lands. Because we have colonies. Ooh. Oh, an heir. Two, six. And this male. I'm cur I can randomize the name when I, however I want, right? And you could click the random button. Doing, we have Joan again, Alphonse, Farron, Henrik, Joan, Alphonse, Marty. John, Carl's Farron, Alphonse, Joan, John, Farron, Joan, Alphonse, Carl's, Joan, Marty, Farron, Carl's, Joan, Alphonse, Farron, same. Yeah, it's. I'm done with that. Enric. All right, let's name them something. We go by Enric. What? One of the names is Enric. Want to go with that? No. What? Why not? How about Carles, which is, I guess, Charles. In this language. Let's try thinking what the queen would name her son. Well, she's Cassandra. Yeah. Just, I don't know. And Cassandra means along the lines of like protector, right? Of her people? I don't remember. I'll look it back up. Let's do Enric. Hang on, I'm, gonna, I'm just curious. Uh, 
Ugh. Unheated prophetess. That's in Greek. It's not Greek. Yeah. I don't know where we found Cassandra at. Yeah. I mean... And Latin is prophetess, same as American and English word is it? In English the meaning of the name Sandra is Cassandra was a uh, prophetess. Greek is the same thing. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Apparently it's got a meaning in Shakespeare, because he is the name. It's a Shakespearean baby name, is what it says. I think it was Spanish names. Yeah, I think meaning in Spanish is what I wanted. I need a proper test. This is what it is. I have no idea what website you're on. I don't either. This says it means doom. I don't think so. That's not what it meant when we looked it up. <laughs> Maybe Charles would be good. Because of Cassandra. Cassandra, Charles, Charles, Cassandra. Man. Well, if we're going to do names, we'll do Catalan. Because I believe that's the closest culture. Okay. How do you spell Catalan names? Perfect. That's all they have on here. I can't search it at all. I can't spell it correctly. You can't spell Catalan? It's C A T A L Y N, right? C A T A L A N. Oh, it's L A N. There's a gusty. We're going Alexander. No. 